let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Attack of the Awesome Podcast. And I would like to say, Happy fucking New Year. Yes, it is January 1st, 2012. This is the first episode of 2012, and I'm your host, Scooter Mike, the Unabomber. Uh, along with me is Rosen Hacker, of course, my favorite, favorite co-host. Yo. A.K.A. the only one who's actually here now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, here's the issue we got for this episode. Uh, our original two co-hosts couldn't e- even make it to this recording, so Rosen Hacker... J.J. just flat out ditched us. I think J.J.'s like, ah, Fuck these guys, I'm not coming anymore. And, uh, anyways, Rosenhacker, would you like to do the honors and introduce our two new substitute co-hosts? Of course. First up, covering for music, the one and only, the lovely Pugsley. Hi. And second of all, we have, from Thespian Talk, from the Stage Gamer, from Play to the Back Row, Gomer. Yes, hello! Hello! <laughs> How are everybody today? Oh. There's no answer because they can't answer us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. Damn right, it's nepotism. <laughs> All right, so uh. let's just hop right into the podcast with our first segment of the hour <clears throat> is Around the Web, where we talk about what we see around the web and who would like to start it off. I guess I will take the first thing. You guys all know Rift Tracks, right? Yes. 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 Well, you know, they only cover movies. Well, they ended up doing a special thing where they riffed a few cutscenes from Gears of War 3. Ah. Uh. Wow. Yep. You would say it is pretty awesome. Uh, who's next? I'll take the, I'll take the next one. And I admit it's a little, little plug for my site, but the reason why it's a plug for my site is because I'm plugging our newest contributor, SpazFox. Uh, anybody who follows my show knows we interviewed him a little bit back. I got in touch with him afterwards, did some, did some talking, and boom, he's on my site now. And I actually want to highlight his uh, SpazFox Plays Nintendo series because, as I think I may have said on the show, and I've mentioned it to somebody – he, his style of reviewing the games is just quick, like boom, 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 boom. It's like he puts in like five, six, seven games in like a five to fifteen minute video. So the first one is up on my site, rtgomer.wordpress.com. Um, if I haven't updated the link yet, I'll, I'll do that after the podcast. But by the time you see it, I should have the link updated to where you could just click on Spazfox, go to Spazfox Plays Nintendo, and the first episode will be up there. So far, he's released four, so it's not going to be much going up on the site, but they'll be going up every week throughout the next uh, few weeks. But he's also got his DVD of the re- DVDs of the Week reviews, which he took he did for an old podcast. Well, he did for a podcast show that's still running in video format, but... Um, but there, there's more of that. Just honestly go check them out. And if you're impatient, check out his YouTube page. His username is Fox. There's even more videos than that's going up on the site right now. <laughs> so go check him out. He, he's, he's pretty good. That's my thing there. Sweet. Okay. Uh, uh, any, mini miny, mo. Let's see. I, I shall go then. Uh, I'm a big fan of Shakespeare. And the most famous line of Hamlet is to be or not to be, that is the question. So I'm on YouTube and I type in to be or not to be. And this young lady of country known as Courtney Wellborn, she turned to be or not to be monologue from Hamlet into a song. That sounds cool. I mean, mean, I'm... I listened to the whole song, and it's just a little ditty country, and it's actually kind of good, you know. I'm not a big fan of country, but she actually turned the whole monologue into a song, which is actually unique. Nice. 
Musical Shakespeare. Yes. <laughs> I found two things that AOL felt the need to just be like, oh, hey, look at this. I was like, all right, what is this? So one of them is uh, Japan got hit with another earthquake, but it was um, in the sea and nowhere near people. It did hit Tokyo, though, but nothing big happened. Uh. And then in Arkansas, a bunch of blackbirds just dead fell from the sky again. Did this okay. happen last year? Did this keep yeah. happening? <laughs> oh, God, now, and, you, now you know there's going to be the people going around, Oh, my God, the birds are going to die, the world's coming to an end. Well, it is 2012. Uh, I prefer uh, the theory of webcomic hijinks and stew, that it's just angry birds come to life. <laughs> there you go. There we go. That's and they the banned way. people from getting off fireworks the first time this happened so they could see, okay, is this doing it? And then this year, they weren't, they're, just, they're not even sure if, that was, if, it was, if it was the fireworks. They just know that thousands of birds just fell. Well, you know yeah. what it is? It's thousands of birds just randomly died. This this stuff happens all over the place, they and people are freaking break. out because the news okay. is reporting it more. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's like yeah, birds die. You know, as 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 one of my favorite comedians said when he was reporting on it last year on his show, you know, birds are fragile creatures. You know, you just go ooga booga and they die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'll never have another par parakeet. Apparently one of the, um, <laughs> the scientists that they asked said that uh, loud cracks and booms from celebratory fireworks are likely to send birds into such a tizzy that they crash into homes, cars, and each other before plummeting to their deaths. And this is what they thought last year happened on New Year's Eve. Thank you. And that, that, is that, that, the <laughs> that birds had land were landing on roofs, sidewalks, streets, and fields, and then one struck a woman walking her dog, and another hit a police cruiser. <laughs> wow. All right. That, Just from the sky, you walk your dog, and all of a sudden there's a bird coming down. This dead bird. <laughs> oh, like, what? What the hell is this? <laughs> that's about as <laughs> random dog. as I got. Whoa there. That's about as random as this news story I heard a few years ago. A guy was hailing a taxi cab in Japan, and as, you know, as the taxi was coming up or whatever, all of a sudden, he was suddenly under some one that decided to jump off the building and kill himself. Well, that sucks. <laughs> you know, I bet, so, yeah. like, I bet the day before he was saying, God, God, I wish I wasn't single, but it's not like women just rain from the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. It, 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 dogma. Beautiful, naked, big titty women just don't fall out of the sky, you know? <laughs> yeah. Big bags of cash so. don't just randomly fall from the sky. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish they did. We all do. Oh, yeah. All right. That was hilarious. <clears throat> uh, next up is our next segment known as What in the World of, where we talk about what's going on in animation, movies, music, and video games. Uh, who would like to start that? Um, I guess I'll start it off, uh, mainly because I... I'm actually on my end getting ready for MAGFest and everything, so I've not had much time to get anything. But I do want to note something I did find on FARC, and I, it's probably stretching it a little bit because it's around a card game. Stretching it's what we do. A card game. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there's actually a uh, Pokemon competition going around in the Chicagoland area. and uh, It actually happened Friday. And let's see... Oh yeah, I'm. I'm as like I said, it's been kind of. Huh? So they talk about the rules of the game, and I believe the world champion, at least coming into this thing, is 26 years old. Everyone, <laughs> everyone, say with me now. Nerd. Yes, <laughs> and even even the even the FARC headline says that. Um, you know, they, they they said, yeah, the Pokemon Championship claimed by 26-year-old man who's most likely never touched a woman yeah. and will die alone. <laughs> <laughs> I love those headlines because I'm living proof that that is not going to happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, but the big the first thing I saw on Kotaku when I actually started looking was their uh, most read stories of 2011, and the one that really caught my eye. Uh, 
out of the ones that they showcased was uh, the story about Robin Williams naming his daughter after Princess Zelda. Uh-huh. That happened in the, and the not only, 80s. Yes. Not only was that mm-hmm. totally fucking awesome, it's something I'm like, I had to look at it and be like, you guys didn't know that already? Just a quick search on Wikipedia. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Could <laughs> be like, worse. guys are behind. After all, Nick Cage named his kid Kal El. Yeah. Oh, God. Where'd you... Just, just watch. Oh, I just watch. I'm gonna have a kid, and odd my wife is going to be me, 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 or wife, girlfriend, mate, whoever. She is going to want to name him like if it's a guy, she's gonna to want to name him Doctor. Speaking of the Doctor, <laughs> yes, this there is this awesome T-shirt. I could, but it's in these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Mike, uh, Mega Fighter 3 has submitted a story to you. Uh, apparently, Manos, The Hands of Fate is going to be uh, released in HD. Oh, God. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way out of here. Oh, movies. It'll Why? Be there is no way out of here. Wow. There, there's one other story I did want to point out that I found on Kotaku. Is, um the story... The headline reads, when your favorite game is proposing marriage, the answer is yes. <laughs> because Wait, oh, if your favorite game is proposing marriage, say yes. The answer is yes. Okay. The question. Yes. She said yes. You're dying to know, and Kotaku can confirm for you now. Even though her marriage proposal came from a smart aleck ro- robot and contained references to herpes and, well, the big A, last <laughs> night Tora told Ben yes, she will marry him. The proposal was delivered by Borderlands comedy relief bot Claptrap in a, divi- in a video developed over a, a week by Gearbox Software and did not conjure images of bended knees, rose petals, and those silhouetted De Beers ads. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. De Beers. First She'll pretty much have to. fallen uh, fan and now this. Yeah. But, but apparently the, the, the robot just... It's it's like me trying to propose marriage in all the wrong ways, except in this case it worked. Hmm. Uh, this does not mean all this, this, everybody. This does not mean go out and try this for yourself. Because don't. Yeah, because uh, this this is a fluke. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but I think it's kind of interesting proposing mar- that that that's a very creative way of proposing marriage, if not a little rude. Yeah. So I thought I would point that out. So I think I think that's all I can muster right now. So I right. better take this from me before I run away with it. <laughs> all right, then. First up in the world of uh, of comics, this is sort of related. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the newest issue of Action Comics is again going to tell Superman's origin. Okay. How many times has his origin been, re- been retold already? This is like the fiftieth time now. Only fifty? Holy shit! I could have sworn it was. 50. I could have sworn it was a thousand, at least. Probably. Uh, but yes, next up in the world of sort of animation, like I guess CGI motion capture fest. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people are claiming that they created Avatar. <laughs> Why they, are they claiming this? I will never know. What? Because they want to cash in on the fame of Avatar. Probably. Oh yes, They're definitely. Annoying. Were these also the same creators of Fern Gully or Dances with Wolves? Possibly. <laughs> Uh, uh, that would be like me saying, "Yeah, I created Mega Man back in 1987." You know, when I was five years old. When I was a child. Yes. Yes, a five-year-old came up with Mega Man. A five-year-old American came up with Mega Man. There you go. Mm-hmm. Or, or actually, no. To be more accurate. He came up with Rockman, and Rockman was brought over here. So. <laughs> so I go. Because, because as Rosen has found out, I I am a big Mega Man nut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. Uh, and in the world of anime, they are making a Dragon Age anime. Hmm. Also a Mass Effect okay. anime movie. And a Persona anime. And a Blade anime. We've it's been going Japan, a long they do what they want. Oh my god. Wow. What is not going to be made into an anime anytime soon, I wonder? They're making your... I don't know. I know they can. They do what they want. The, they're making yeah. Rika and Supernatural into an anime. Huh. Uh, that... Ay, 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 ay. 
Yikes. Mm, there, are, there are some series that I would not mind seeing in an anime format, you know, video game series or otherwise. I would not mind seeing a, an, an anime adaptation of one of the earlier Final Fantasy games, for example. I'm thinking six. But I would not mind that. But to make if, – if they make an anime based on Jersey Shore, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go kick someone in the face. <laughs> I was just, like, you can and kick someone in the face. Actually, no, that could turn that could turn out funny. That could turn into the uh, that one scene no. in the animated series. Uh oh. Who? Uh, th- there's this one scene in the in the Clerks animated series where the uh, the, the scriptwriters quit and they have they have to rely on the Korean animation studio to finish the episode, and so they're oh, like, no. uh, in the oh, trial, remember we that. find we find the defendant Super Disco Dancing Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How can that be? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Uh, I guess that's it, right? Oh, I have one last. Okay. Uh, in the Clone Wars, uh, like the Clone Wars cartoon, pretty much some official guide uh, guidebook to the universe. But uh, Obi Wan Kenobi hails from. Or comes from the uh, planet to John, meaning he comes from John Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Um, um, uh, uh-huh. I don't know. Top was came up with it. Wow. Although I also see, think a lightsaber duel between Obi Wan and John Stewart would be the most awesome thing to ever happen. Yeah. I could see that. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, yeah, and Pixar has some new movie, something. Mm-hmm. Kind of secret. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Pixar yeah, movie. Pixar movie. Movie. All right, yeah. who's next? Would you like to hear first, movies or music? Well. Uh, since movies went for, uh, around the web, let's go with music. All right. But anyway, okay, well, I just saw this. Apparently, when Theo Green was performing John Lennon's song "Imagine," he changed the lyric, and now everyone's crying over it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Hey, oh, oh, said, oh. What's the lyric change? What's the lyrical change? He, the li- original lyric was, um, "Nothing to kill or die for," and, um, and no religion too. And then he changed it to, "And all religions true." And now everyone's like, "Raw!" He changed the lyrics. That's disrespecting him. Blah. Wait, 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 what? Just, he true? just wanted to. Yeah, all all religions true. Like all religions are true. Did, 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 ah, ah, what? Ah, thanks a lot. Wait, 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 who who's 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 the who's the guy who did this? Who is it? Celo. Celo. Thanks a lot, Celo. You're gonna destroy the fucking universe. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> He's the reason we're gonna have an apocalypse because he changed the John Lennon song and everyone flipped out. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's not even just. It's not even just the lyrical changes. It's, it's the idea of all religions being true. Do you realize how many apocalypse yeah. stories yeah. there are? How many creationist yeah. stories there are? Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna fuck up the whole space-time continuum by saying all <laughs> religions are. Oh God. Yeah. <sighs> and he was like, uh. on, on tw- when he realized that. People were flipping out because, you know, everything that was just mentioned. And he's like, I meant no disrespect by doing the lyrics, guys. I was just trying to say a world where you could believe in what you wanted. That's all. Yeah, no, sorry. Dilo, no. I love I, you, I, but it's no. It's a great idea, but no, that wasn't, that wasn't a way to do it. Fuck you. Okay, in all seriousness, though, in all seriousness, if you're going to have a song, the only, reason, only way I could see any kind of lyrical... Changes, for example, uh, Billy Joel's "We Didn't Start the Fire." I love if it. anything, I would, I like it too. If anything, I would add on to it, make it go on a little longer to cover more, like you know, more turn event name dropping and everything. But that's about it. But, um, that the office version kicks ass. Yes. Yes. But um, <laughs> there's also uh, let's see, songs like "Imagine." They have one set idea. You do not change the idea. If you were going to cover it, if you want to convey a different idea, write your own damn song. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, I, I, I am, I, I am a 
fan. I'm a small fan of the Beatles and a little bit of John Lennon. Although I tend to favor Paul McCartney more. <laughs> but Lennon was awesome. Yes, he was. Next is the world of music. Yes. <laughs> Next. Uh, I do have I do have a couple things. There. Oh wait, well I have something that sort of applies to me and the whole entire world, but kind of sort of news. As long as it's music related, that works. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, um, one of my favorite uh, artists, Wamsika, has a new album out. I saw the album cover, and there's just no way in hell I could have I could ask any parental units to buy it for me without explaining. It's just how he is. What's okay? the album cover? This means the album cover means nothing. What it's is it? Just that? pictures. Just look at the picture. Don't look at the pictures. The music is what's important. I have to find it. Hang on. Oh, and uh, here's Uh-oh. something. There, there. Uh, someone did an Assassin's Creed musical. What? 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 Why? <laughs> an Assassin's Creed musical. For comedy. Uh, what? No. That's just no. Could... no. There's okay, I'm gonna give you the. I'm going to give you the thought I had when I discovered that Evil Dead had been turned into a musical. This could either really fucking suck or end up being totally awesome. I, Probably I would hope it would be for the latter. It, it scares me. Oh, God. Uh, wait, now, Assassin's Creed, you said, right? Yes. So that's like gaming coming into becoming a musical. Mm-hmm. I've actually seen a musical be turned I into a Wii game. A like, wasn't there a Portal musical? It, I'm not sure, but when I and when I say musical, I'm meaning uh, theatrical, as in stage musicals. Yeah. By the way, just to clarify here. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, the only one I've seen so far, there is a Wii game and a DS game based on Greece. Yeah. Oh wow. God. I noticed that. And it's basically, yeah, it's like rhythm game. From what I've seen of it, it's like rhythm games with a Greece cover. That's about it. From what oh. I've seen so far. I actually want to get a copy of both of them and review them on my own sometime. Oh, and uh, apparently they're making a perfume based off the Hunger Game. Yeah, what? Say that again. The they're making a perfume based off the Hunger Game. Yeah. What? I don't know. It's. I mean, I I guys, the... not a perfume, a nail polish. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, that's still that, it's not that's, as bad. Still, what? But still, like, what? Huh? Oh my god. Uh. Next thing you know, they're going to have Nintendo. Wait, they had that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat Nintendo cereal when I was a kid. <laughs> Little they trek horse things. Oh, god, I'm craving those now, but too. Yeah, they, they had Nintendo cereal when I was a kid. Mm hmm. Oh, God, I feel like I'm probably the oldest one in this podcast this week. <laughs> I think you are. Uh, yeah, I'm 29. I don't know how old you are, uh, Scooter. But, 22. But I know you're 20. Yeah, I am the oldest. I'm the, I'm the old <laughs> fuck of the show. When, when I was your age, we only had 8 bits for our Nintendo systems. We were having yeah, those 8 bits, God damn it. Turn it to Dana Carver there for a minute. There you go. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, I, I, I am a child of the eighties. Yeah. Apparently, Beyonce gave birth. Just saying. Oh wow. All right. And yeah. on to movies. On to me. Well, actually, the ones I have are related to more movie slash TV genre kind of thing. Well, I obvi- found a lot of movie stuff. Yeah. Well, I found a lot mm-hmm. of movie stuff, but I had a decide what to talk about, but I decided to talk about one of the major news stories, is that the Harry Potter director, David Yates, is wants to bring Doctor Who to the big screen. Doctor Who. who uh, I've heard that. Oh. The American Doctor I Who. Would love to see, I would love to see what they do with Doctor Who when, on, on like a larger budget, big screen type thing. Because what they do with it now is pretty impressive. But Yeah. With like, even more back behind it and everything, oh my god! By the way, Mike, people I, everywhere will people everywhere everywhere will spooge themselves. <laughs> did, that, did you ever talk about the American Opera? No. American mm-hmm. what? Then we need to because I've been holding this in for months. No, I. Oh, the thing that keeps getting canceled and redone and then rebought and then canceled and is just what? Oh, that. Yep. Nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I have never... I know I'm kind of copying Nash here, but... God damn it. Off. All right. I'm just going to read this thing because I can't sum it up any better. Go ahead. From Anime News Network. Acting auditions and employee re- an employment resource for actors posted a plot description for the live-action film adaptation of Patsy Hiro Omoto's Akira Manga on Tuesday. The short description was sent out as part of a casting call for extras and stand in, uh, in the film. And here is that plot stop. <clears throat> Taida is a bar owner in Neo Manhattan who is stunned when his brother, Tetsuo, is abducted by government agents led by the colonel. <clears throat> Neo Manhattan? Brother? Didn't this take place in Neo Tokyo? Brother! Moving on. <laughs> Desperate to get his brother back, Kaida T agrees to join with Kai Reed and her underground mo- movement who are intent on revealing to the world that what truly really happened to New York City 30 years ago when it was destroyed. Kaida believes her, their theory is to be ludicrous, but after finding his brother again, is shocked when he displays telekinetic powers. <gasps> Kaida and Tetsuo is headed to release a young boy, Akira, who is taking control of Tetsuo's mind. Kaida clashes with the colonel's crew on a way to stop Tetsuo from releasing Akira, but arrives, arrives too late. Akira emerges soon from his prison, courtesy of Tetsuo, as Kaida races in to save his brother before Akira once again destroys Manhattan as he did 30 years ago. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Well, that happened. Holy shit. Yes. Also. (laughs) Moving on. Okay, anyways. uh, Wait, wait. Moving on. Apparently, uh, Whovians are going crazy over this whole big screen Doctor Who with Davy Yates as director. Even Stephen Moffat of the writer of Doctor Who is denying everything, like, oh, no, 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 that's not, that's not going to happen. No Doctor Who movie in America. We are planning on a Doctor Who movie of some sorts, and it's not going to be in, have to do with the TV show. It's all blah 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 I'm like, really? Just, I want to see what happens if they bring it to, to the big screen, because... It could be worse. It, it could it, be their original idea for the Doctor Who movie, for the TV movie, I mean. I mean, yeah, like... Plus... You what that was, right? Yeah. Yeah. The whole half brother thing. Yeah. The half human. Yeah, half human. No, no not half, half human. The original idea was that uh, the, the doctor and the master were half brothers. Yeah. Okay. I mean. Yeah. And they, they kind of, they kind of like poke fun at that in an episode of Doctor Who in the past few years, didn't they? Is he a brother or something? He watched too much television. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, who likes the Punisher here? Who's a big fan yep. of the Punisher? Um, well, I like the first movie. I've never seen it or read it. Meh. I'm talking about the the comic book Punisher. Yeah. Uh, the first movie was good. Warzone was crap. Well, apparently they want to make. The Punisher into a TV cop show. I heard about this. Oh, joy. Yes. Yeah. Well, besides the crafting, I will pull up the story. Yeah, the uh, TV version of The Punisher will be Frank Castle, a NYPD detective by day and Village LT by night. Think of, like, the Equalizer, only with more guns. Oh, it gets worse. For the love God, why is it not loaded? Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Yeah, Fox wants to produce the Marvel Punisher. Okay, here is the uh, here is the story. Uh, Fox has brought in an hour-long drama from ABC Studios based on the Punisher, expanding Marvel's television development slate to five live-action series. The project has been given a, a put-pilot commitment, meaning the pilot is guaranteed to be put in production. This deadline reports the adaptation from Colonel Mind showrunner Ed, Ed Bernero will transform the comic book anti-hero Frank Castle into a rising star detective in the New York City Police Department who more or less vigilante seeking justice for those the courts have failed. So basically, it's the Daredevil movie. Huh. Eh, I... But, geez. I just, I have... What terrible stories today. I know. <laughs> First the Doctor Who thing, and then 
that and then the Punisher thing. Yeah. Yeah. I suddenly want a Sonic screwdriver. And I mean the drink that LC taught everybody how to make in the latest Critic TV episode. <laughs> I want one. Which kind? I will take the Matt Smith because I like the line sports drinks the best. <laughs> Anyways, the last article I have is uh, about the Beverly Hills Cop trilogy. If you see Beverly Hills Cop at all with Eddie Murphy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Of course. Well, the fourth movie has been circling rumors like it's, it's been in production or blah, blah, blah. Well, it's not happening. Beverly Hills Cop 4 is canned. <laughs> Instead, Eddie Murphy wants to have a spin off TV series of Beverly Hills Cop. That features oh, okay. that would feature his son oh. in the show, and he'll be the chief of police in Detroit now. Huh. I I mean I love Beverly Hills Cop, and if they turn into a TV show, I'd be interested to watch it at least because I like to see what Axel's son will look like. It's like what he's got a son who yeah. who who did he hook up with? But yeah, um, Axel. A- yeah, Axel fully hooked I'd up. I'd be interested to see who he hooked up with. I, that's what I, I mean. I was like, who did who did he hook up with? He said Alex. Did he hook up with the girl at the end of Beverly Hills Cop Three or what? I don't know. Yeah. It's a mystery. Oof. But until the TV show starts. Until the sh- yes. show goes in production. Uh, yeah, that is uh, mm-hmm. the one in the world of <clears throat> blah blah blah. <laughs> and now on to the most awesome, right? Yes, the most awesome. Yes, we go around and talk about this. This time for this episode, we talk about what is the most awesome video game, song, movie, animation, whatever of 2011. All right, 2011, huh? <laughs> yeah, because I I'll have picks for each, so. I, I noticed you did. I looked, saw that. Yeah, you saw that? I saw those. I mean, whoever wants to go ahead and name their most awesome, go ahead. Oh, this is a tough one. Because. <laughs> Cause... that again? Because I think that was the last two weeks. Yeah, y- yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I think. Uh, I... Okay, the most is awesome. All right, if we're going to talk most awesome, uh, if we're going to talk most awesome video game, for me, honestly, I haven't been able to pick up many new games over the past year, you know, because bills and everything, it's like, bleh, money's been a pain in the ass until just recently. Uh-huh. And the best one I've been able to pick up, actually, actually it's a two for both of the 3DS games. I managed to pick up both uh, Ocarina of Time 3D and Star Fox 64 3D. Oh really? And I know people are gonna be like, people gonna be like, oh, it's rehashed and everything, you know, with updated graphics and all that shit. But here's where here's where it got me. I can take them with me. If I want to play Star Fox 64, I don't have to wait and find a Nintendo 64 or an emulator, hook <laughs> all that up. I just pull out the 3DS, pop it in, boom, there you go. Also, the gauntlet awesome. has been thrown down, sir. Uh oh. <laughs> and, and honestly, it's yeah, I'm the just going around it's challenging everyone. Way. Oh yes. Mostly the Mario Kart, but I need to actually pick up some of the later Mario Karts. I think that, yeah, yeah, either Mario Kart or Pokemon at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I got a. I think I have black or white. I had both of them, I but I, both. Up, I had both of them at once. I ended up selling it for some reason yeah. or another. Black or white works. But um, <laughs> but hey, you know what? <laughs> I can always pick up another copy. That's the way I look at it. So. Yep. But um, but yeah, but Zelda is also the same way as Star Fox 64. Plus, you know, it's Zelda. <laughs> you got, I, I gotta have Zelda. Zelda. I gotta have my portable Zelda. Which, lucky for me, on my on my 3DS, I not only have the Zelda 3DS, of course, but I've also downloaded the uh, Four, Swords Four Swords and yeah, mm-hmm, yep, and and Link's Awakening. Yep. So, oh. so it's like I'm all Zelda out on that thing. I don't have that. Recently, I saw that they recently put Metroid Two on there. I'm like, yes, I'm so getting it. <laughs> two hours, <laughs> two hours of gameplay later, oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but it's but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, all right. Yes. And uh, anyone else have a pick for their game of the year? Uh, 
gonna say, don't look at me. I don't haven't played into video games. <laughs> Sad. The only games I've been playing are on Steam. And out of all the games I've been playing on Steam, I have to say I really like Sanctum, even though it's really obnoxious sometimes. But I really like it. And of course, mine has to go to Portal 2. I just got yeah. Portal 2, so can't give it any props, can't give it any critiques. Yeah. Trust, just got it. It is hysterical. It is it is incredibly well made. I, I started playing for like five minutes, and I'm just like, what is going on? And in case, it's, in case it wasn't obvious from my show, the characters are, are amazing. <laughs> yeah, the little cube thing that wakes you up, I want to kick it. I really do. <laughs> I, I want to kick it. Why is that? It's like, calm down, don't worry. Everything's okay. Meanwhile, your room is disintegrating around you. It's like, what is going on? Why are you telling me to relax? Well, clear- Scary. Yeah, sweetly, he is kind, but an idiot. <laughs> he was actually him. programmed to be an idiot. I well, kind of like the Bob and George version of Mega Man. <laughs> Primary function, beat Dr. Wily's robots. Secondary function, to be an idiot. Close enough, let's get to a blaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, who's next? Uh, I do. Are you still on games? Are we moving on to what? Movies? Animation? Mo- song? Let's do movies. Okay. Movies, movies okay. Yeah. I've seen a lot of movies over the course of 2011. And actually, the recent one I just saw was The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh my god. It, yeah? it oh, is. That movie. that movie is freaking amazing. I mean, David Fincher did a great job directing it. David. Daniel Craig was amazing in it, and the shock factor, because I haven't read the book, I want to read the book now, but the the things I saw in that movie, I will never forget again, especially all that, uh, I would just like to say some sexual acts in it, but I would say yeah. The Girl with the Dragon Here Tattoo is my most awesome movie. Right. There you go. Um, Gomer, yeah. Stephanie, with yours? Oh, as far as movies that actually came out this year, sadly, I am mostly behind for most of them. I do know that there's the re-release of Footloose, well, the yeah. remake of Footloose. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Hey, 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 to... hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I am going to go see it. I'm going to see it as soon as I can because that is going to be a movie I'm going to review Possibly with Kat Thompson. Um, I know she's nice. been busy lately. I still got to get back with her. Uh, so I explain why I, mean, I get so much, shouldn't I? Aside from just being a bad remake and a story that didn't need to be adapted or didn't need to be remade. Yeah. One of the characters well, so far, yeah, no one thought yeah, so did. at the end, yeah. he, he he like takes his daughter, and you're supposed to forgive him for this and just pretend that he's the hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the original had the original was not quite that much there. He he still he still slapped Ariel, but then he's like, holy shit, what the hell have I done? He's not like that. <laughs> he they never bring it up again. I hate yeah. <laughs> he just laughs or it's never addressed ever hell. again. Yeah, uh, yep. but my disappointment so far, I have not even I have not even seen the remake. I've seen you know other people talk about it. My biggest disappointment was they didn't do what they did with. Movies like Hairspray, where it was, you know, it's original movie, then they made it into a Broadway musical, and then they turned that Broadway musical into a movie. They didn't go that route, and I'm disappointed. Yeah. Like, Damn it. I think that's kind of a little so, bit too much work and a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, hey, they did it with Hairspray, and they pulled it off really well, so. But yes. I, 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 no excuses. Back on top. No. Yes. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> so. But I can talk. But as far as movies that I've just in general seen, including movies that I have reviewed, um, that that I've seen over this past year, I'd have to say the best one, which is kind of a tough one because some of them are really good. I'm sort of I'm sort of uh, bouncing back and forth between uh, Hairspray, the 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 movie musical version, not the original, and Arsenic and Old Lace, out of movies that I've just seen this year. I know, I know. Especially in the case of Arsenic and Old Lace, it's definitely not new, but yeah, yeah, still, it's understandable. New to you, yeah. Uh, Seth, do you want to go next, or should I list mine? I'll, I'll 
Till next, because it's short, so honestly. Not like your favorite movie, I mean. Oh, fair. Yeah, I know. It's oh. going to be short, because I haven't seen movies, and movies I have seen, I don't remember. The only thing I remember seeing and absolutely loving is the last Harry Potter movie, Shut Up, I don't care what anybody says, it was amazing. <laughs> my pick. Uh, okay. And that... And as for me, while I do love the Muppets, I gotta give it to Paul. Oh. Paul was... Paul was great. I, also, did, I also did see Monsters vs. Aliens for the first time, but I really... I, I pick Harry Potter. Let's go on to the song. Oh, joy songs. Yeah. It's your favorite song of the year. Or just favorite uh, album, favorite band of the year. My favorite... I just did this recently. It's funny. Because <laughs> I wrote down a list of people that surprised me in 2011. Hang on a second. While she's doing that, um, I it, it's another one of those things I don't usually keep up with, like the current music or whatever. If I find something I like, I'll put it down or whatever. But I think the only one that I can really find notable was not even one that's been that was put out on the airwaves or anything. It was um, it was something Demo Versailles did for his latest video on Auto. Hey, Derek, guess what? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I put that. <laughs> I put that on my iPad and played in the truck while I'm driving down the road. Oh yeah! <laughs> see a big, see a big orange semi truck blasting. Hey Derek, guess what? Out of its windows. I have that. Who else going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, and I will go with. Um, okay, what did I pick? I can't remember anymore. Uh, oh, Joe goes on by Lupe Fiasco. That's crazy. Uh, what do you pick? <laughs> oh, God. I know I hate this generation of music. I do. What is what happened to this generation? It sucks. I mean, there's some good bands out there that I like. I mean, I could just pick, like, a song from a artist who released a new album this year. Like, the Beastie Boys released a new album called Hot Sauce Community Part 2, and one of the songs on there is uh, Make Some Noise, which is a excellent, fine comeback song, sequel to... That? Yeah. There you go. I'm back now. Uh, Yay! Hurry. Oh, you, yeah. you also front. <laughs> sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> also, Mega anyway. Fire, I will smack you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, I it's Mega Fighter. It's Mega Fighter. It's on a daily basis. Yeah. I don't want to yell again because I'm getting very sick. Oops. You need to go to the doctor or something so you can stop being sick. I hate the doctor, though. Uh, shut up. I don't care. Oh, you me okay. the oh wait. Wrong doctor. <laughs> <laughs> No, you say it's okay. You're never gonna get better, so you might as well just go and get it over with, and just get better. Because obviously, doing what you're doing is not helping. I love this woman. There you go. Or Yay. Not making any better. Anyway. But yes. First of all, we know it could just be throat polyps or something. Throat what? Throat polyps. <laughs> yeah. Little little throats that, that are on your vocal cords. Usually. Uh, because this happened to somebody I know a few years ago. He went to the doctor, said, hey, you have vocal cord polyps, you know. It happens sometimes with, like, comedians, stage actors, whatever. People talk a lot. Oh, that would be a that. use that performance voice a lot in, in particular. We get it. I've probably had it myself, you know. But I never went to the doctor for him because usually they just go away on their own. And that's exactly what happened with him. So, oh. so well, yeah, you know. if... Yeah. They should always see what you have. Yeah. So. I, I would still recommend that, yeah. But yes, song. We yes. keep getting off topic. Song. Yes, song. <laughs> um, my favorite pick person of the year, who I brought up before, is Wumpsy Cut, because originally it was just, oh, this person's okay, casual songs here and there. And then, what did I hear? And then I heard Black Death. And I was amazed because it's this metal 
kind of industrial mix, and it's just like, oh, hi there, interesting genre, how are you? Never heard of you before. So I ended up listening to the rest of the album it was on, and I was like, this is amazing. I love this. This is awesome. Why did I not get into this before? And then as I was going back through um, Wamsa well, Cut's discography thing, um, I was, it's like, oh, this is kind of this kind of cool. And then I got to um, Bone Peeler and was like, what? What happened? What is with this album? No. No. You'd fa- no. And then the more current albums were kind of eh compared to what he could do. And then Siamese Studies, which is the album that came out in 2010, I heard, got to that and was just completely blown away again. And my favorite song from that album has to be Bone Shaker, Babe, because it's epic. <laughs> wow. I uh, like make penis joke here. Oh, and, and um, the song also has the most awkward uses of the word fuck I've ever heard in my life. Oh, really? It's just... It's just, it, it happens, and you're just like, why did he say that? Why? It's so awkward. It's just like, what? Oh, what the hell? It's so random. I will find oh, it. Oh, the places it. you'll fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because on the wall in my room, it, yeah. it, it used to be a baby room when uh, my roommate's sister was living here. They moved out. But I told I told them, leave, leave the... Uh, the uh, thing on the wall that says, oh, the places you'll go, because it's Dr. Seuss, and Dr. Seuss was awesome. And I just happened to look at that, and out came, oh, the places you'll fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yes, time for the weirdness, weirdness news. And it's all food-related, too. (laughs) I love it when it's food-related. Yeah. It's going to make me hungry. Well... Maybe. Uh, well, Burger King Japan introduces the pizza-sized Whopper. Oh joy! Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah! Wait, are we, are, we, are we talking like small pizza or large pizza? Large. <laughs> it is large pizza. Yeah, it's it's a pizza-sized burger for four people. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's, that's a giant ass steak. I will admit that is impressive, but that has nothing on the giant burger in Michigan. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is the beer barrel. The in Michigan is larger than a small child. Wait, you mean the beer barrel? <laughs> that's I hilarious. Should... That's I a burger that is bigger than a small child. <laughs> no, that's part of, yeah, that's the world's biggest burger. Yes. Yeah, the beer barrel, is, is, that, is, that thing is scary. Yes, I looked at it and I was like, I love burgers, I don't even think I can finish it. But yeah, but still, a pizza-sized Whopper, I could probably do that, because I can eat a large pizza all by myself. I mean, oh. it, it's huge. Well, it's not huge, huge, but it's like, it's all topped with the Whopper toppings, and the bun is huge, and actually, it doesn't even look like it's one, it's actually a couple of patties bunched together into one. It's not one. It's, it's not one big patty. It's uh, it's like two of them stacked together. Actually, this looks kind of cool. Like I pictured like an individual burger that was this size. Like I know this is all one. No, this isn't all one thing. It's individual. It's like, yeah. It's, no, it's it's all just one. I think it's all one big bun. And there's individual patty. I thought it was one big patty and just one big everything. No, it's just different things put together. Uh, yeah, cool. see, see, that's that's where the, the the big burger in Michigan definitely will have it beat because they are all one burger. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Japan has everything apparently. Uh, Taco Bell. Who doesn't love Taco Bell? Oh, goody, what do they do now? Well, it's not what, what they did. Bell do now? It's not what they did. It's what a guy did. A man what do you pull- do? A man pulls a gun on Taco Bell employee for getting his hot, hot sauce. So the story goes. Because hot sauce is serious business. <laughs> exactly. How hot could that hot sauce be, really? I mean, here's what happened. So a 30-year-old named Jeremy went was not happy at a Missouri Taco Bell. Jeremy? 
Jeremy. His name. His name Jeremy. Yes, his name is Jeremy. Oh wait, where in Missouri was this? It does. Oh, God. It does not. Because I was through Missouri just this past week, and I stopped at a Taco Bell. <laughs> this, nice. This was actually in September, so it's past long gone. Oh, okay. Hot enough to kill. <laughs> Uh, he wasn't happy at a Missouri Taco Bell because an employee forgot the hot sauce in his to-go order. So, he returned to the establishment and threatened the employee with a 12-gauge shotgun. Whoa. And nice. He, uh, then Jeremy gave the order back to the employee and, and reached for his shotgun. The employee jumped out of the driver drive through window. <laughs> the very intoxicated Jeremy... Denies return to the restaurant, but surveillance cameras showed otherwise, and he's f facing up ten years in jail for it. Oh, I wonder. Ten years in jail, for, because apparently, I, I, I really hope the hot sauce was worth it. Because, sorry, pulling a gun because somebody forgot your hot sauce at a Taco Bell, not worth ten years in jail <laughs> to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe my priorities are weird. I don't know, but no. <laughs> like I, I might grab a knife if it was one of those like fancy hundred dollar Mexican restaurants, but a Taco Bell? Not worth it, dude. <laughs> Not worth it, man. Not worth it. All right. Uh, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about tea. Let's do. Let's just drink some tea, why don't we? Tea made from panda poop. I sent that to my friend, Brooke, and she died laughing. Ew. Wait, wait, wait. Tea made from what? Tea made of panda poop. Say that again? Tea made from panda poop costs... Panda poop. Panda poop costs $69,000. Yes. That's <laughs> 69000 Wait, that's, that's worse than... That's worse than the... No, the, 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 the coffee. $69,000? <laughs> yes. Goddamn. A Chinese professor believes he can charge... I promise you. Shit tea, not worth it. He charges Ooh. folks a whopping yes, 69000 for tea made from panda poop. Does what? this mean that Julian could shit somebody's tea and get $69,000? <laughs> <laughs> but but you, know, you know why he's yes, doing it? I could. Huh. You know why he's doing it? Because he thinks it might help. Why? Because it might help fight cancer. What? And if it doesn't... Right. Drink See, panda shit. It'll help fight cancer. Right. Uh, no. Uh, there was a similar... And again, this goes back... About, actually, about this time last year, another show reported that they were making uh, coffee out of cat shit. Yeah, I heard about that. They, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'd feed... Whatever. They'd filter it out and everything. And it's yeah. Just, and but it wasn't quite expensive. It was like 20 or $30 a glass. Yeah, I, I read about Not that. Not quite as expensive. Warning, may cause cancer. Yes, <laughs> it may cause cancer. God damn And it. the thing is, it'll probably still be legal and pot not be legal. Fuck them. Yeah, nope. that makes sense. Was, oh, oh, sense. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see. Well, since panda There's bears... science. I mean, panda bears only digest 30% of the bamboo they consume, and bamboo has cancer-fighting properties similar to... So they don't just make the tea out of the bamboo. Just eat bamboo. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Why? What? Why? I mean, you can grow bamboo. It's like, I... not that hard. Yeah, just set a reserve no. away. It... So there's enough of the pandas and enough fur to tea. Don't take the poop from the pandas to get the undigested maybe bamboo. They just, maybe they want it's a more earthy. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. So you, so it looks like a shit in your teeth. Just forget about it. What? Yeah. Just Another sad panda reference. God. Oh. <laughs> I don't watch sad panda. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't like the last one I got is actually about a wedding that's food related, which kind of means that a wedding was held at a is white castle. Oh, dear God. Oh, I think I've heard of this. Harold and Coop oh, finally get hit. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Was it a black couple or a white couple? White. Uh, <laughs> yeah. White couple. White couple, okay. White couple at White uh, Castle. <laughs> oh, you know. It, 
A white couple at married at a white castle. Yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> the implications, holy shit. And pirate racism. And Lu- intentional yes. racism. Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> In Louis- oh god damn it! <laughs> I'm about two hours north of Louisville right now. <laughs> you really should. You should go there and like, take them. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You know, don't get married in a white castle unless it is literally a castle that is white. <laughs> it's white. In like a foreign country. I mean, hey, yeah. yeah. Catering. I mean, mm, I mean yeah. yeah. Well, and and what they did was this. There was a band that was playing the song "White Wedding" too. By Billy oh, Idol. Get it? Yeah, get it. A white, white couple getting <laughs> in a castle, being played. White wedding. Yeah. The, white only way, the only way it could be even any more white is if it was played by the White Stripes. <laughs> but it or did. Justin Bieber. Oh no. God! No, no not just no. Bieber. No. It'd be white. No. It'd be really white. No, it, it would be the same. No, no. There's actually we, uh, we, if if Justin Bieber was to set foot anywhere near me, I would probably skin him and and, and make a hat out of him. <laughs> what, you give it to the first Bieber fangirl that comes up and cries. Here, have a new hat. It's made of Justin. <laughs> it's made of 100% Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh no! But it's made of 100% Bieber. Or Bieber. I, I mean Bieber. Bieber. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or oh, Justin Bieber underwear. Have Bieber oh, next to oh. your. <laughs> no. No. Wow. No. I don't even think no. Justin Bieber fan girls would go for that. They'd be like, ew. Like, ew. That's the. <laughs> they, 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 they want Bieber, not on their Bieber. <laughs> yeah. The the whole reason why. Yeah, so. <laughs> the, the reason why the wedding was at the White Castle is because the bride's parents had their first date at a White Castle. And they brought her with, no. and they have good memories. She's like, "Oh, let's get married in a white castle." Over oh, oh. parents much? Wow, just wow, just just ever, just, wow. ever. I if no. they had their first date in the white castle, but their parents, their parents, yeah, no, their, their parents' first date was at a white castle. So, and they brought me with. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is like okay. White couple at a white castle. You played white wedding. How white trash of all is all this? <laughs> Seriously, like how much how much more deeper into the white trash bin can we go? Talk about white power. <laughs> what? No, there is no there is no power no. here. I think, I just, I think that's a of... different. I I I think that's a whole different area there. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's no longer white trash. That is white robes. And I, wanted, I do not want to get into white robes. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I got for the food-related weird news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Very, uh, very, very, very weird. Eat. The ring pair, oh, God, the ring pair could have just had the white icing cake. <laughs> they didn't have, no, 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 they didn't have cake. I think they would have noticed. They didn't have cake. They they oh, ate they didn't white have castle cake. burgers. They had, they, had, they had wedding burgers. They, they had, had to have. You know, the, the, the like it was like maybe you know yeah you get like that hundred box of of white castle burgers. Yeah. They probably have one, but the little things on top. Pugly, didn't you have something awkward you wanted to share with us? Yeah, there is apparently going to be a sci-fi brothel opening up in Las Vegas, Nevada, or just in Nevada. Hang on. A what? A what? Wait, wait, sci-fi a sci-fi brothel. brothel. Yes, a sci-fi Nevada. brothel is going to open in Nevada, you about 90 miles from Las here. Vegas. And it's going to be a sci-fi brothel opening 90 miles outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, okay, hey, um, I'm going to make sure later Renee knows we are going there someday. <laughs> <laughs> I, we are totally going. It is going to be a, I would say road trip, but no, she likes traveling by train. Are there any trains oh, that go to Vegas? Train trip, probably. I think so. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That, hell, that's how we're getting to MAGFest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sci-fi brothel. Hey, give me somebody that looks yeah. like Amy Pond. Do they have, yeah. do they have any, any brand names lined up? I like, don't could you, know. Could you get I a hooker? Could you, I don't know. That's like Princess Leia. I don't know. It's not <laughs> gear specific. It just says this is what it's going to be based on. Like if you're into all that sci-fi stuff, sexually or whatever, yeah, go there. <laughs> have fun. 
Yeah, have fun. See ya. There you go. And for the guys, <laughs> they can get Sulu. Okay. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, and the, other, <laughs> the other thing I found, the other thing I found was um, during the uh, funeral for the guy who died in uh, North Korea, him. All you see is just a bunch of people. Yeah, him. him. Bunch of people, bunch of people, bunch of people. Then you see this really, really tall dude just chilling in the background. Yes. That, he's just really tall. Oh, no, he's one of tall. his genetically modified super soldiers or something. I don't know. Just standing there. Oh, yeah. Captain That's Captain. more conspiracy theories than I'd like uh, to go in. What don't you? <laughs> Alrighty then. We're down to the wire here, and we're <laughs> on to the last segment, which is the top number list, which I found, and I told Jared this, I told Rosenhacker about this list a while back, and he's like, oh yeah, let's do this one. It's the uh, the top foods that should exist. Top food, oh. top foods that should exist. Top foods that should exist. <laughs> God. Okay. All right, the first one, number one, is waffle tacos. Waffle tacos. Waffle tacos. You probably have made that somewhere before. It sounds amazing. It does. Tacos are a classic masterpiece of compact unhealthiness. But just imagine (laughs) having a waffle shell and then have taco stuff in the middle. Just a... (laughs) I'll eat six of those. So hungry. I would. Yes. Uh, next, next, next item. Next. Cookie dough pancake. Yes! That's, Isn't that just a that, giant cookie? That doesn't work because you have to cook the pancake. And then to cook the pancake, we made cooking the cookie dough, making it a cookie. I think they made a cookie dough flavored pancake. It, it, oh, wait, let, me, let me read this. I'm, I'm imagining. To avoid accidentally okay. cooking okay. the cookie, one must pre-freeze little balls of dough and then mix those into the pancake batter before putting them on the griddle. Oh. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that's the way you work it out. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Next, one, next one. Sushi burrito. That's semi-awesome. But only because I don't like sushi. Want to hear something disgusting? I don't like sushi either. At my no. school, they have a uh, every traveling food truck. One of the items is the pi- is the quote pizza rito. Pizza rito. Pizza oh. rito. Oh, that doesn't sound that bad. Sounds like they just wrapped up a pepperoni pizza and called it a burrito. I'm fairly certain that's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Uh, oh, man. That was that was amazing. That happened. Yeah, that, there's not much <laughs> to say about that. Pizza pizza. I'm just. Has anyone ever seen that, that SNL Taco Town sketch? No. I can't say that I have. They just keep combining, like, putting things into a taco. Like, <laughs> eventually just get to the where they put a pizza, a giant blueberry pancake, and, and it, they have to fit in a tote bag full of hot sauce. <laughs> okay. Look up SNL Taco Town, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see, next one on the list is peanut butter milk. Ew. Ew. And I love I peanut actually, butter. I've actually Ew. tried to peanut butter. You know how you have like those uh, bottles of peanut butter that you put on like ice cream or whatever? I actually yeah. tried to mix that into milk sometime. It didn't work out so well. Peanut butter milk? <laughs> yeah. It didn't work out so well. There's just no. That's too awkward. Okay. I mean, okay. If you, if, you, if you will eat peanut butter and jelly with milk, then why not? The two it together all? doesn't work. <laughs> Why just, just put the peanut butter? Because combining them make something good. <laughs> okay, let's see. The next one is marshmallow Kit Kats. Yes. I'm mean, just called Kit Kat company. Like, put marshmallows in your candy. There. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. But it would also have to have the wafers too. It have to be the chocolate, yeah. the marshmallow, and then the wafers. Yeah. Oh god, that would be awesome. I don't really like Kit Kats that much. Okay. I like the big Kit Kat bars, you know, the big, oh. thick ones that you can find. Oh, yeah. I love those. Those the are small amazing. ones are all right because, you know, they're the originals. But I love the big ones because you just pick one up. Don't have to worry about pieces falling. Well, you know, crumbs and everything. You don't have to worry yeah. about the pieces falling everywhere or what have you. 
And you can do it all in one go and not worry about getting your hands dirty if you don't want them to. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, this could be interesting. Omelette pizza. Ew. Omelette pizza. Omelette pizza. Well, wait, is it like a, a fruit kind of pizza? Like it's, one of those deals without like the, like the sauce would be like ketchup or whatever, and then it's like on some kind of roll or whatever for the bread, and then the omelette is the cheese, or is the omelette the sauce and there's cheese on top of it? I think so. I don't know. It could be like a breakfast pizza or something. I think it's a pizza with egg and cheese. Yeah. 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 Then that, then that sounds interesting. Then that sounds interesting. Yeah. Like, but if it's just a pizza, like a legit literal pizza, and it omelet on top, no, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, I've I, heard of worse combinations. <sighs> yes. Because when I was when I was when I was a kid, yeah, you know, I grew up in girls generation, and 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 I mean the originals. I don't I don't mean the 2003 ones, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Just, just to kind of date myself again. Yeah. But um, there was something I don't remember if it was a comic or a magazine or something. But they had like different combinations of pizza that the turtles supposedly liked. Ew. There's like this artichoke and anchovy, or or like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. <laughs> but then there is one I have tried. I don't think it was in this one, but I have tried putting Skittles on a pepperoni pizza. That sounds awkward. Why would you do that? Because it is good. The only, the only problem is afterwards, every burp you have after you eat it is going to taste like soap. like Skittles. Like soap? No, it tastes like soap. Yes. I, I tried this. In fact, I not only tried this, I tried this in middle school at band camp. <laughs> of all places. <laughs> I tried pizza with Skittles. It tastes like soap. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yes, the version <laughs> of takes, American Pie. It takes some time going down. It's just coming back up. It tastes like soap. And I noted this to a room full of people. My band director happened to be sitting there eating at the time. And oh my I, god! He couldn't finish his meal. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Wow. I'm like, I'm That's sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Fun. But yes, <laughs> you had a literal one time at band camp. Yes. Or less flutes, or less flutes and orifices. Yeah. This is what happened with, start, with, with my township's band camp? It was oh, it was free. Like all the summer camps, camps were free, but what they really were is you woke up, you got on a bus, you went there for like an hour or so, and then you went home. Then we got budget cuts. Then you have to pay fifty dollars per kid to go for like a two-hour thing. Yeah, no, sorry, we're not going to spend a hundred dollars for like two months of two hours, even though it's been no. So I went like twice for two summers, and that was it. Wow. Okay. It was a sleep away camp thing. It made me sad. Yeah. I was like, no, it's not camp. It's just yeah, some ours, program thing. Ours, we called it band camp, but it really was just, you know, a week of uh, summer band classes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, right before school started. So everybody got to go back to their homes or whatever. Started in the morning, worked until, you know, did stuff until like 9 o'clock or, or so that night. <laughs> and, well, of course, with breaks and stuff in between, of course. But, you know, it's... So it's like, not, it like an unpaid job. Was it for yeah. like every band, or was it like for a marching band or a certain band? It was just, for uh, like just just for marching band for us. Okay. And, and the That's week was cool also to help get, and well, week was also help get all the newbies that were coming in. Sure. You know, teach them how to march and everything. And for all yeah, of us summer. that hadn't marched in since last year, you know, we could refresh ourselves as well. That was a lot of fun. And be like, all right, I know what I'm doing. Yes. Okay, I suppose I should move on to the next food that should exist. Uh, cinnamon yes. sugar cone. Cinnamon sugar cone. Like, like ice cream cone? cone or? Yeah, ice cream cone. Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. sugar. How does that not exist already? Go. Or when you're making yeah. them, just put them in cinnamon sugar. You're pretty sure that could exist. How does that not exist? It makes sense. I don't know. Someone get on that. Someone go call Ben and Jerry's. They do everything. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Uh, oh, some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, oh, okay. Next one is mayonnaise ketchup. No, thank you. Isn't that just Thousand Island? Uh, uh, yeah, just 
it depends on the food. On burgers, that might be fine. On a hot dog, depending, that might be fine. But <laughs> myself, there are certain things that's just by itself. No, just no. I mean, it, no, just no. Yeah, Mega Fighters got the right idea. Ew, no, Ew. <laughs> just no. Right. I've known people to dip their. I've known people. Speaking of, I've known people to take a slice of pizza. And dip the tip of it yeah. into mayonnaise. Oh, salt. God. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I like French like, dressing. I looked at him, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> He's like, it's good. I was like, no, no it's, 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 it's good. And, and here, here's the thing. Pizza, fatty. Mayo, fatty. And the guy was a bean pole. Nice. I was like, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I look at that five pounds. It's a bean pole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> let's let's move on. <laughs> let's see. For me, I gotta keep looking around. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, very good at mega fighting. French fry bread. Ew. So fried bread. That's. It's French. That's gonna happen. It's actually a that's actual. It's like a giant French fry. I'm not that. seeing the anything of this. I wasn't anyone probably all that seeing this. Move my French fry to top my sandwich. No, you don't. Yeah, I put you because mm. everybody takes it's a handful awesome. of French fries and they put it on top of their sandwich. They're like, oh, let's just make French fry bread. Yeah, that's a Pittsburgh no, sandwich. Not. Yeah. I don't think it is. I would just eat that without anything else. Just big French fry. Oh, mom, 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 mom. oh yeah, I know. Big French fry itself. Just, okay, I, I, I have had that. Just don't make uh, it from Wendy's. Ugh. I was at a steak house <laughs> and they were, uh, and what they did was, with the steak, they served these giant chips. I mean, chips as big as your head. <laughs> wow. Like. Uh, well, that depends on the size of the person's head. Yeah. Some people have really big heads, some people have really small. Yeah. Like chips made out of at least, like a flat, a steamrolled potato <laughs> yeah and the last but not least food that should exist macaroni and cheeseburger that ha that exists <laughs> that could exist I mean just make a cheeseburger just boil up some macaroni yeah put it on there that's that exists I should have that's to try that too much like, I'm going to try this burger. You got the new, you got the pot, the the pasta noodles, whatever you want to call it, and then you have, like, no. Overall, this list was underwhelming. Yeah, yeah, and, and apparently a lot of pros too. Cruz. Like I really want the Krabby Patty to exist. Someone make that. Well, what to exist? Like, the Krabby Patty. It needs to exist. So millions of people can grow like this. Let's just no. let's just open I don't know. let's just open a Krusty Krab somewhere. Yeah, but it, so we'll get, it's just we'll a tell Nickelodeon and Viacom and whoever the hell else owns SpongeBob that they need to open a crab crab. Not just in Florida, not just in their little There's theme one. parks. I know the Nickelodeon theme park. No, I'm saying, like, you know, some of the things open just in Florida, like Harry Potter World, just in Florida? No, all around the world, everywhere. Apparently they did that at McDonald's to promote the movie. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Well, I don't know when that happened, so we're going to open a Krusty Krab so we can have it 24 or seven all year round. They, Not they, just in promotion for a movie. Yep. And that is the uh list. Uh wow. <clears throat> now I'm hungry more. I don't know why I ate lunch, but I'm still hungry. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go raid the cupboard in a little while. <laughs> uh okay. We gotta close it up. So any closing thoughts before we end the podcast? Food. <laughs> yes, we, food. we need food. Lots of food. I need food, and anybody that gets in my way will be cannibalized. <laughs> I will eat them. Okay. Then you won't be hungry. You'll, you'll be human. Yeah. 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 All right, so that is the podcast. I'm Mike. I'm the Rosenacker, I guess. You guess. I am. And I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian. Hi, Fudgley. And uh, as we say on Tech of the Awesome, you've been attacked.
Uh, yeah, man, pull. 